Now you can probably guess from the title of this video, but I'm going to teach you the difference between a procedure and a function. And it's essentially whether or not you've used what's called the return statement. So if I was to make a very simple greeting function, and I'm going to call this greeting P. So I'm going to take a parameter and I'm going to output it. So this is similar to the sort of things we've learned so far. So if I do a uh, format, uh, welcome, name. So if I was to run this, and I'll pass it down. When I run it, it outputs. Brilliant. Now this is known as a procedure. You're probably still here in lots of videos and books and things, this also being called a function, because it technically is still a function. But especially when you're learning, if you're doing any sort of courses like GCSE A level, you will also hear this referred to as a procedure. And essentially, the difference between a procedure and a function truly is whether or not any bits of data has been returned. So this effectively, while I can change it by passing it different names, everything is done inside this function. So because all the outputs in there as well, we call this a procedure because it runs very similarly every time. Now, the alternative to this is a function. So in this instance, it's not going to look very different, but I'm going to explain why it's significantly different. So if I pass it name, the difference is I'm not going to print out name. I'm just going to return this as well. So I could have returned it as um, welcome name like that. That works exactly the same. So while this looks incredibly similar the key difference is that we're not printing it out so we're not constraining ourselves to just print so if i wanted to print this i would need to print and actually call the greeting within the print or assign it to a variable and then print that so you can see that's working exactly the same so to show you i will print procedure And function so you can see they're effectively outputting the same thing but the key difference is we are not constraining ourselves to just print this out so print out puts text in the console yeah that's useful but when you get into bigger programs later i personally think it's really bad practice to have either inputs or outputs within a function so the reason being as your programs get bigger the inputs Okay, the input should be passed to the function and the output should be returned so you can choose what to do with it. Because if you imagine as your programs get bigger, your inputs might come from the user typing them in, but they might also come from a file or from a user interface. In the same way, the outputs might be outputted to the console, but they might be outputted to a graph in a user interface. They might be outputted to an email. The inputs and outputs are vast the different ways you can input and output data so you shouldn't constrain the inputs and outputs within the function so if you ever see return that is much better practice when you're doing your functions because it means your function is more useful so it doesn't matter what the output is you can deal with that outside the function this is the process of doing whatever it is the task that you're trying to get it to do okay because I, I see students all the time do things like like this so they'll do name equals input enter name and then when you run it oh it's because i've passed it something here look it's not allowed to be passed arguments when i've not got any so when i run it it says enter name i'll go bob and it says look welcome bob the, that's how the procedures run and welcome dan is the function underneath where i'm printing out look this is a much better way of working for as you become more um, advanced in your programming because you're not constraining yourself because then regardless of where this name came from, whether it was input from a file or wherever, you can pass it to the function. And then again, by returning it, you can change what you do with the data 
once it's been returned as well you can still output it you can move it to a file you can send an email whatever it is you might want to do okay so if you ever get asked the question what's the difference between a procedure and a function a function returns a value or returns data a procedure doesn't 